In this video, I'm going to explain how vitamin D influences immune function and chronic inflammation. In actual fact, an, a deficiency in vitamin D stimulates pro-inflammatory immune function. And that influences the expression of a host of different diseases. For example, this is from Michael Hollick, a famous vitamin D researcher from Boston University. So vitamin D deficiency, the consequences of vitamin D deficiency, you can pause it and look at all of the different conditions. It's unbelievable. So what is the commonality among all this? Well, it has to do with the flame. Well, also vitamin D influences about 2,000 different genes. So it's pretty diverse what vitamin D does. What causes vitamin D deficiency? Well, we can see up top here, here are the causes. And you can see sunscreen, melanin, latitude, winter. Well, what does melanin mean? Melanin, mean, melanin means skin color. So if you have black skin, like Congo black skin, you need a lot of sunshine because you can be out in the sun literally all day long and never get burned. So the darker your skin is, the greater your chance for developing vitamin D deficiency is. So there are also medications, supplements, St. John's wort. You can see different conditions. How about obesity? and you can see malabsorption issues from that which we do get from diet. So people think, well, as long as I gotta do is just take vitamin D and I can fix osteoporosis or osteoarthritis, which is not the way to look at it. Because vitamin D is just one of the multitude of factors that drives chronic flame, right? So a lack of sunshine is a driver of inflammation because you get less vitamin D. I went over that in, a, in the last video that I did on February 16th, 2020. So sun avoidance creates the flame, turns on the flame production as a consequence of being deficient in vitamin D. Now, how does this work? Well, here's a picture I created that shows how this works. TH0 stands for T helper. These are T lymphocyte precursor cells. They can become T helper 1, T helper 17, T helper 2, or T regulatory. So they are, their uh, differentiation of T helper 0 to these other four T cells is influenced by vitamin D. If you have adequate vitamin D, you get a proper balance of pro-inflammatory T helper 1, T helper 17, and anti-inflammatory T helper 2 and T regulatory cells. What's the outcome? Well, T regs, and T helper 2s, they produce anti-inflammatory IL-10 in adequate amounts that keeps the pro-inflammatory IL-1, IL-6, TNF, and IL-17, all pro-inflammatory cytokines, balanced. Adequate IL-10 does not let these pro-inflammatory cytokines run wild to create chronic pain, depression, and disease. If we are deficient in vitamin D, look what happens. Helper zero cells, TH zero cells, are sent towards helper one and helper 17, which leads to an overproduction of pro-inflammatory cytokines, interleukin-1, interleukin-6, tumor necrosis factor, and interleukin-17, and less production of anti-inflammatory IL-10, you can see, there is no way that this small amount of IL-10 can balance the increased amount of interleukin-6, TNF, uh, interleukin-1, and interleukin-17. So this is how vitamin D deficiency right here creates the big flame. So where did I get this information from? Well, it's pretty well known. I first learned about this in 04. That's where I got the idea to create this image from this paper published by Ken Torna back in 04. Uh, oops, wrong way. Another one was published in 07, where you can see helper 1s, helper 17s, and a lack of interleukin 10 being produced with, that, with, with, with low vitamin D. So another paper that shows lack of vitamin D leads to overproduction of interleukin 17. So you can see that the image that I created uh, is based upon images that have already been created, modifications of those images, and other papers that have talked about it. So now I talk about vitamin D in the D-Flame Diet book, same relationship with the pro-inflammatory cytokines, 
And I use that picture in the Breast Health Cancer Prevention book, and I use that same picture we just saw about vitamin D that I created in my book about how to stop your joints, muscles, and bones from rotting. So what you need to take away from this video is that you take vitamin D not to treat osteoarthritis or osteoporosis or disc herniation you, or breast cancer. You take it for the purpose of reducing an excess of pro-inflammatory cytokines and by producing adequate amounts of anti-inflammatory, the anti-inflammatory cytokine interleukin-10. It is that simple, and even a layperson can appreciate, should be able to appreciate what I just described. The picture lays it out really, really clearly, and there's more information in all these books that are written for the layperson, so long as they are interested in the information. These are not books for casual reading. You want to get these books to learn.